That Almond investigation into city judges put one judge under a hot lamp held by a citizen. Earlier this week, I told you about the case of DeAndre Natal. He got chased by police, got into a fight with him, was found with a gun with an extended 30-round magazine. All he got from Judge Margaret Neal was probation, and that didn't sit well with a buddy of mine. His name is Adam Sharp. He's a blogger from ProgressiveToday.com. I've known you for a long time. You've always been kind of a rabble-rouser, a go-getter, and you saw this story, and you're like, i got to go get her. Yeah, sometimes, Jamie, uh, things bother me, and... and the mainstream media sometimes leaves a, leaves a vacuum out there for people like me. And now that they're, the technology exists for regular people to go out and, and do the job that the, the, the mainstream media won't do. Well, interestingly enough, I mean, you, you walk into this, this fortress, basically, into, into the, and it's well secured and everything else, but still, the public is allowed in there. So you went ahead, and let's go ahead and roll the video here. You went ahead and popped into the chamber. I could see the bailiff there and... You're in there, and what did you, you were kind of a little bit like, um, I hope I don't get arrested here. Right, right, right. I was worried at one point. See, well, I, I could see through the door that they weren't in session, so yeah. I opened the door, and the bailiff's in there, and uh, I tell him who I am, and, and uh, he goes to get the judge, and I, and I start to ask the judge the question, and uh, she goes, well, I can't talk about specific cases, and as you see, she run, she hides behind the uh, the doorway Yeah, well, let's hear it. Let's go ahead and, and get close and hear it in all of its full glory. The DeAndre Nuttall case? Uh, he, he fought with police and you did you gave him probation. Why only probation? He fought with police, ma'am. Only probation? All right, so at that point, I, I see the bailiff kind of waved you down, and so that was, she still wouldn't. Right, it, it, and I asked the bailiff, I said, is she coming back? Do I need to leave? At one point, I was worried that I might get in trouble, but then again, with this judge, Jamie, what is she going to do? Throw me in jail? Yeah, right. <laughs> I yeah. mean, she doesn't throw anybody right. in jail. Exactly, <laughs> what's to say? So, I mean, uh, it's just that they... Uh, I was watching the nightly news last night and I see stories about how do they keep those 1950s cars running in Cuba and what happened to those cute Sochi puppies and, yeah. and things like that and people like these like this judge walk around and let criminals go and nobody knows what needs to happen is people need to see this judge's face and maybe the next time she's at the grocery store somebody will call her out and that might change things you know if they're f the fear of exposure might get these judges to actually do their jobs. Adam Sharp, Progressive Today. Thanks a lot, man. Thank Appreciate you very much. You Thanks for having me on. All right.